In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the clear tools that we have in Excel. This is very important and you're going to be using this all the time after learning about it. So here in this spreadsheet, I have a list of websites. These are mostly educational websites. There's some URLs linking to those sites and the number of users, let's say in a school or in a group that I'm trying to track. And then it's also color coded by, let's say, how well the users that are in this organization that I work in, how well they think of these different tools. Do they like them? Do they not like them? So that's what's going on here. But what if I need to kind of clear out some of this data? Of course, I could click and tap delete or backspace on the keyboard to try to delete that data. But sometimes it's not as simple as that. Sometimes you want to clear part of the data, but not all of it. So let's look at the options. I'm going to click and drag to select the number of users. Let's say the new school year starts. I've got a new group of teachers or students that I'm working with, and I just want to reset this data. So I can click and drag on it. I could tap delete, but let's look at how to do it using the clear tools. So here on the home tab, home ribbon in the editing group, this is where you'll find the clear tools. So I'll click on that and I have five different clear options to choose from. I could just clear contents. If I do, the numbers will disappear. It's like deleting all of that data. But what if this data had some formatting along with the actual numbers? So maybe there's different backgrounds, maybe it's bolded, underlined, italicized. I could use this clear tool to clear out not the contents, not the numbers themselves, but the formats. So if I choose that, all of the formats disappear, they go away, and I just have the numbers. Okay, so, so far we've looked at clear contents, just gets rid of the data, clear formats, it removes the formatting. Another option is clear all. So if I select a range and then go to the clear button and choose clear all, everything is removed. The formatting, the contents, everything. So compare that to just clearing the contents. Okay, I've cleared the contents, the data is gone, but the formatting remains, the colors and all of that. And so we really have three different options here that are each useful in different circumstances. Sometimes you do want to clear everything all at once. Sometimes you just want to clear the formats and sometimes you want to just clear the contents. Okay, we do have two other options, clear comments and notes and clear hyperlinks. So I'm going to select column C. As you can see, one of the cells has a comment in it. And if I want to get rid of that comment and perhaps any other comment in this range of data, I can just go here to the clear tool and choose clear comments and notes and that comment has disappeared. Okay, the final clear option that we have here in the clear tool has to do with hyperlinks. These are links to the websites named here at the left. And if you click on those links, it takes you to the website that it's linked to. So that's nice, but there are times when that gets in the way. You just want to get rid of the hyperlinks. You want to be able to just see the text without having the hyperlinks there. So you can just click and drag to select the range, click on the clear tool and choose clear hyperlinks. Now, it doesn't look like anything changed, but look, if you click on the text here, what used to be a hyperlink, it just selects it. It doesn't take the user to the web page in question. You can click and drag and highlight that range to remove the underlining, and you can also change the text color, and very quickly, you can just make that range of text look like regular data in your spreadsheet. I'm gonna undo that a few times by tapping Control Z. So these are back being working links, and I just want to throw in a bonus tip here in the clear tool, we have something called remove hyperlinks. This bonus tool actually does both of those steps I showed earlier at the same time. So remove hyperlinks makes the text no longer hyperlinks, but it also removes the colors, the underlining, and it looks just like text. So that saves you even more time. So I use this clear tool quite often, and I hope that you will find it to be useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, I would really appreciate it. The best way to do that is to become a channel member. You get some perks and you get early access to some videos. You can also support the channel by clicking the thanks button below the video, supporting me through my Patreon account, or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to say thank you sincerely 
daily to my Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for being Super Techie supporters of the channel. It's because of you and other supporters that I'm able to continue to make these educational videos. Thank you. Thank you.